What's happening, YouTube? Cowboy here, and welcome back to another episode of Dragon Age Inquisition. We just checked in with Sarah, and there has been no progress on the romance, so with that being said, you guys guessed it. Up next, we are heading to the Hissing Wastes. It's been a while coming, but we are finally ready to travel to the last area I haven't had a chance to visit yet. Bringing out God Tier Team. Let's go! I was actually thinking about maybe dropping Vivian out for someone else on uh, the Drunk Through playthrough just because she's already an integral part of the team here. But, I mean, I don't know. Every now and then there's a decent amount of bicker between her and Dorian, but I don't know if it's enough to justify keeping her in that party. I think I could do better with someone else. So That's a different story for a different time, though, of course. Hissing Wastes, let's get this started. Any luck charting the area? I did what I could, Your Worship. This space has nothing but... space. If there's nothing valuable here, I say let Corypheus have it. Corypheus wouldn't send out his followers unless it was worth it. I did find something for you. Old dwarven ruins, on the surface. Impossible, but there you go. The Venatori are excavating them, with the help of their slaves. Whatever they want, we must beat them to it. I just saw Venatori northwest of here. They might be a good start. I found this map on a dead one. Maybe it shows where they're headed. Good luck. All right. <laughs> uh, sketch a four-pillar tomb. So, we'll keep an eye out for four-pillar tomb. And I think she just said north. So, yeah, it said north. Ooh, wow. It's a lot of camps in close vicinity. So, looks like we're going to be getting some camps, knocking out some rifts. And from what I've heard, there is uh, quite a bit of, like, masterwork schematics around this area. People were saying that, like, you'll find, like, really high-tier dagger schematics up here. Um, grip schematics, the high-end runes, all that stuff, so. I'm pretty excited to get some of that kind of end game material. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm already pretty much god tier in how effective I am, but it doesn't hurt to get even more OP, does it? I don't think so. And where was that thing? Did I pass it? Oh, it's right up ahead. Vandal Aria. I have not seen that before. Oh, it's a skull. That just reminds me, you know, I never did go back to the Forbidden Oasis and unlock those doors. I wonder if that's it's worth doing, or... I don't know. Either way, we'll hit the skull, make everything show up. Like, I feel like whatever is out there, though, that it wouldn't even compare to the, the shit I'm already making anyway, you know? Like, I make such amazing items just through crafting alone. Like, what could, what could possibly be there? I mean, the sword I found for Bull in the last episode was the only, like, real thing I found in a long time that's superior to the items that I'm making, so... I don't know. We'll see. We'll probably end up doing it. At least we'll open up one area. Sunstop Mountains. A whole lot of nothing. It is a whole lot of nothing. You are very correct there. <coughs> let's head this way. We can. So much nowhere. Oh God, Sarah. Well, I didn't like her because she's the brightest. Can't really complain, I suppose. And actually, I should probably leave these rifts open. These are probably provide an excellent opportunity for a build video. So instead, there we go. We're going to head to the Venatory camp. Rifts are perfect for build videos in my opinion because they're abundant. They're easy to kill stuff at. Plus I can already slaughter Venatory. You guys know that. No real point hitting up rifts just to kill a couple of loose demons that are hanging around. Now, these assholes, on the other hand... Are you for real, bro? Kill this dickhead. Oh, he's knocked down. I'll just let them go to work on him. Seriously, like, what what did you guys think was going to happen 
when you decided you were gonna fuck with me. And there's one more. Oh, nope. Attack. Hey, buddy. Guess what? Boom! Up you go. And there's the death blow for 3.4k. Like our iron, I, every time I kill Venatory, I get like the iron bowl approval. I love it. Probably wouldn't be like he'd honestly be probably one of the easier characters to romance, simply because of the fact that you're you're fighting Venatory. Like once you get to Skyhold, pretty consistently in every area you go, you'll find Venatory sooner or later. I mean, like there's some areas where the focus is going to be Red Templars, obviously, and. Speak of the devil, we have some right up ahead, but Venatori seem to be pretty plentiful as well. You guys kill him, and I'll take care of this dick. Alright, you survived. That's mildly impressive, but then you died immediately after, so. It was all for naught. Ah, the hidden blade procs are so fucking brutal. I'm pretty sure I have it on both weapons and armor at the moment, which is why I'm seeing them constantly. But that's not a bad thing, you know. Hidden blade procs are all the rage these days. I've actually been thinking about... Well, earlier, you know, I was mentioning swapping out Biggest. And the only reason I'm even talking about it now is because we got a little bit of a hike left over there. But I was thinking about maybe bringing out Blackwall to tank and just ditching Vivian... And instead, specking Biggest into just full, like, two-handed Reaver Rampage mode. You know, not even worrying about tank or anything like that. Putting, like, hidden blades on the sword, hidden blades on his armor, and having him just absolutely smash his way through everything. I think it could be a, a fun way to play two-hander, so. We might try that out this Friday, see how it goes, and, you know, if we want to make him tank again, we make him tank again. How much farther is this? Jesus. Uh, it's fucking, now that I'm like almost here, it's close. Come, Christmas Dragon Horse. There was a skull on the map, like right over here. Just little camps, is that all? Oh no, there's actually a, a skull up there, so it's going to be more shards. We're not wasting time with that right now. This place is really big though. Like when I was initially looking at the map, I'm like, man, this place looks tiny. And now that I'm seeing how long it actually takes to run from place to place, like we are just about at the first camp. And I was like this, I was like, oh, look at them all. They're all close. This place is huge. It's, it's literally just nothing, just sand, lots of sand. Those are kind of pillory, but those are off pretty far in the distance. Oh, here we go. That did not help me. Man, I got the vibrate. I was getting all excited. I was like, great, we found it. Nope. Nothing. Complete waste. <laughs> Gotta say, so far, kinda disappointed with the hissing wastes. Nowhere to be found. That's a huge fucking area on top of it. Our head towards the camp. The other shitty thing is like I haven't seen Venatori around here. 
Like, there's a rift, there's two camps, but where the hell are all the Venatori at? I mean, I'm looking for a Venatori camp, I figured there'd be like a slew of them somewhere nearby. They gave me the four pillars thing, but I haven't seen. I'm not sure what that's referring to either. Why are we in combat? That thing's not coming near us. Can we please disengage? I promise you guys, it's not a threat. Oh my god. Okay, now that it's dead, can we please establish the camp now? God, what a pain in the ass. Very anticlimactic area thus far. No, you don't have anything for me. You have some shit quest. We've been through this before. What is it? Oh my god, why can I not do this? No, don't take out your fucking weapons. Call your goddamn horse. Alright, so next... Oh, how big is this? Does this expand all the way out to the camps? Okay, it does. We're going to run over to that camp while we continue our search for the Venatori thing. Ancient Road. Not seeing anything that looks like pillars over this way either. It's the only thing, but those are really far off in the distance. Like those are like they were over here practically. Yeah, <clears throat> and this cuts off at the camp, so there's no way they're over all the way over there. Oh, here we go. <clears throat> There's our four pillars. We are set. Exactly what I'm looking for. No, kitty. You cannot nudge the microphone. Get off my lap now. The cat's like, this looks like it would be fun to nudge at my face and possibly lick. Like, no, let's, let's not do that to the $300 headset. It was like, there's all these Venatori guys like less than, you know, 10 meters away. And I'm sitting here setting up camp like it's just like normal. I'm like, yeah, don't mind me. You guys should probably worry about the brute. Never mind. Brute's been taken care of. Ugh, search the Venatory camp near the t canyon and search the Venatory camp known as the Watchtower. How oh, we just go into the ruins instead? How about that? Demons of the Stone. Torches, lighting them in the wrong order summons demons. Cool. Sun Stop Mountain Tomb. Okay, so that's all the way out. That area that I was looking that I wasn't sure about. For pride, these halls were made to honor father's deeds and grieve his loss. 
who, against their father's wishes, fought from foolish words and foolish pride. So that one ends with pride. That one starts with pride. This is the tale Paragon among Paragon's father of two sons. That's probably going to be the first one. Yeah, so this is the tale of dude. Paragon among Paragon's father of two sons. Out of the way, Sarah. Who against their father's wishes fought from foolish words and fool foolish pride. For pride these halls were made to honor father's deeds and grieve his loss. And for loss these halls were made to honor a brother more. So. One. I mean, I, I am t tempted to summon up demons, but... I mean, I know the order. This is way too obvious. Marvelous. Something for our efforts. A burial chamber, I think. Really? I didn't... Did something... Did, like, that area up there just unlock now? Is that locked before? Dude, Venditori must be dumb as fuck, though. That was... By far, like, the easiest puzzle I have seen in an RPG in a long time. Mosaic piece... Key fragment, Bianca Arms, Masterwork Spiked Longbow, Tier 3 Bow Schematic, Hell yeah, Superb Ring of Attack, ooh. Ooh. And Map of Tomb of Fariel. It's like out towards kind of where I was going. So I have Armor Pen and Flanking, and we're taking Attack over Armor Pen for sure. Nope. We want attack and we want flanking. See, armor pen isn't that good, so we'll keep staggering and bleeding on her. Vivian. What does she have on? Uh, yeah, I don't think armor pen is good at all on them. You have on. Uh, I've heard those are buggy, so we'll give you armor pen, I suppose. Excellent. And you know we're going to make Sarah a totally badass bow now. Nah, we'll do this one first. This one's closer, we can do this one, then we can fast travel all the way over there. It's probably the easiest thing to do. Alright, next camp. So in short, I uh, basically decided after the fact that I was just going to cut all that fucking running. I mean, just glancing at my time real fast, that was roughly a solid four minutes of literally just running through wastes. And while I'm not a big fan of just cutting footage, you know, like... <clears throat> I try to keep these episodes around 20, 30 minutes right in that time frame, and if I'm going to pull that off and, and get this quest done and actually bring you guys an episode that's entertaining and fun to watch, it sure as hell isn't going to involve fucking, like, 15 minutes of literally me just running around a giant sandy fucking desert. So, thus far, I'm uh, pretty underwhelmed with the hissing wastes. I mean, the getting into the tomb, that was kind of cool, but... There's just so much fucking running here. It's really kind of killing my hype for this new zone. So, uh, basically, anytime there's, you know, just a massive fuck ton of running where all I do is just sit on my mount and go somewhere really far, I plan on just cutting it out because it's, it's silly to keep all that in when it doesn't really showcase anything. It's just, you know, me having to travel a long distance with my horse. the hell is that? Oh, there's a mage. He thinks he's good. Don't want to do that on accident. Oh no, bull went down. What is this bullshit? <coughs> oh man. This guy is trying to do some shit. 
dropped a fucking fire mine on top of me. And of course Vivian has Veilfire still. Good Vivian. Alright, so let's investigate this one. Where is the entrance? Around this thing, maybe? Venatori! Ooh, fuck up the stalker. What is that spell? We don't have that spell. That spell looks awesome. Down you go. Honestly, I feel like the stealth guys in this game, like, I mean, given I'm already god tier OP, but the NPC stealth enemies are probably the deadliest ones. Like, they can do so much damage to you so fast. Like, especially the uh, the Red Templar Shadows. God, man, those things will literally pop up and just one-shot you. They're like, surprise butt sex, you're dead. Shit is obnoxious. And I'm finding all kinds of sketches. Mountain Fortress Tombs Treasure, Graveyard Tombs Treasure, Jesus. Is that all we did? We came over here just for those sketches, I guess? I got the canyon camp. So, oh boy, that's a far one. All right, and we are back. So, uh, as you guys can probably guess by the fact that I cut the footage, you did not really miss anything. In fact, we ran into three Venatori. We saw a uh, big dwarf statue, and that's about it. So yeah, total total hype, right? Lots of uh, pointless shit. Wow, you had guard. And now you don't have guard. And give me a second here, because Bull... I can't change this right now. Bull, I noticed, is not really using any of his Reaver abilities. In fact, he's getting, like, dangerously low. And that really concerns me, so... Set to ideal. Why is he not using them at all? Or fucking earth shaking a strike for that matter. I don't know what's going on here, Bull, but I better see some uh, some ring of pain and devours happening soon. So we got the third camp. This would make a good lookout post. No. Hey man, what was that? Oh, sad weapon. It's like a stick with a banana nailed to it. That is a sad weapon. <laughs> no idea where I got that, though. Colossus Tomb. Search the Vanatory Camp in the mountains. Didn't we, we already accomplish that? Ooh. We did not. I thought it was right over here. How are we looking anyway? Yeah. Well... We are pretty much at our uh, our 30 minute mark here, even with well, no, no, I don't, I don't know. We'll go we'll go hit the Venatory camp because I try to think like how much I'm gonna be cutting from all the the travel bullshit. I think we're good. Once I cut all that out, I think we'll still be under 30 minutes. See this area actually it looks kind of cool. And I'm going to want my horse before proceeding any farther. Because this also has falling damage written all over it. Luckily, our horse regenerates its legs instantly. You can do it, my great beast. Wow. Is, uh, exhibiting quite the finesse there. This little skip move to avoid damage. That time it didn't, but... Nothing like a bunch of terrors. Get juke, nerds. I'm not wasting time with you. Man, 
they are real salty about me escaping. They're all, come on, man, come back and fight us. And I'm all like, no, fuck that, I got shit to do. I need to save you to kill in a bill video. already down. This marksman's like, don't worry guys, we're coming. Oh shit, they know how to climb upstairs. We're so fucked, we better get out of here. Oh my god, this one can teleport and stab you. What the hell? Stop dodging my death blow. You asshole. This one's, oh, he's, he's horrified. Oh, he's horrified from Bull. I was about to say, I'm like, trying to think, and I'm like, I don't have Dorian, why are you horrified? And then I remembered I had an awesome passive that does that. Someone's about to hit level 22. Damn, that was just auto attacks. That's so absurd. Just the damage I'm getting, plus like all the, the armor penetration I get coming out of stealth. It's like, no, you're not casting shit. Just get down to the ground, please. Don't even try. Make this easy. Ooh, piece of candy. Big door that I can't quite open. So we got something over there. Of course, there's like a giant barricade going all the way around. Why wouldn't there be? Oh, more guys. So, who wants to die first? I think you do. Guys, get him lower. Man, fucking Mark expired. Without me getting to go all badass, I'll just kill him the old fashioned way. Damn, I actually got caught by that. Okay, you need to stop. With all the runes and all the extra bullshit. seen that before. I kind of feel silly picking up metal though because it's like anytime I'm crafting weapons 90% of the time I go for a uh, for dragon bone anyway just because it's like the highest end material so. Fade touched something. Fade touched something that's probably really awesome. Ha. Huh. He dead. He 
He dead. Everybody's dead. Bah. 29 bottles of high-end liquor hidden throughout the world. The finest of beverages when all brought together shall create the ultimate in drinking. The most delicious alcohol ever created. The Inquisitor's Brew. You're kind of like a dick looking guy. And boom! There goes the mark. I don't know what you're doing, but I don't like it. Bloodwake and an amulet of power for me. Oh, Dory, never mind. I got real excited for a second. Uh, spirit attack, constitution, heal bonus. Not that good, but whatever. He's dead. That's what the, the same fade stuff I got. Vrantium. Ooh, and royal sea silk. 10% chance to cast fade cloak on a hit. Jeez. Let's see how that could be pretty OP. As you're attacking, you're just like, invincible, invincible, invincible. So all the baddies are dead. Now it's just a question of what was the treasure. Oh, oh wait. There we go. Shames me to notice bickering among some of you. We perform great work here. The dwarf relics in the tombs are instructions on replicating the masterpieces of one of their finest paragons. Lady Calpurnia wishes us to retrieve them with all haste, and you know she speaks for the Elder One in all things. He remembers a time when this place was not a blasted wasteland, and if he desires its secrets brought up to the light, he sh we shall obey gladly without strife. Blah, 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 blah. All right. Well, either way, guys, that wraps up the first episode in the Hissing Wastes. I gotta say, the area... I mean, the the whole Dwarven Ruin thing is really cool, but the whole let's run for fucking miles across sand and nothing is not so cool. So, I doubt we'll go into this area nearly as in-depth as we were in, uh, you know, like Emerald Graves, for example. But I do plan on, you know, recording when I go into these tombs and, and the, the Masterwork stuff I'm finding and whatnot, so... Either way, make sure to stay tuned for more Dragon Age Inquisition, and we will catch you guys next time.